when you're in Sin City, there's a lot of things that you can do. And even if you're not in Sin City, if you want to do some things that are a little bit risque, you can go on a carnival cruise and do that. But unfortunately, during one carnival cruise, a brawl broke out after an alleged threesome sparks cheating accusations. So from our peoples at the NY Post, this threesome did definitely rock the boat. A wild brawl that erupted on the dance floor of a big apple-bound carnival cruise ship was sparked by jealousy over a, uh, a menage a trois. Now, if TikTok knows French, then we're in trouble. But anyway, the chaotic fight broke out roughly with roughly 60 people near the Verrazano Narrows Bridge on Tuesday when a significant other accused their partners of cheating in a threesome. The skirmish started at a nightclub on the fifth floor of the Carnival Magic Ship around 2 a.m. after angry lovers confronted their respective partners for two-timing on the seven seas. The brawlers then began shoving each other and smashing beer bottles. A woman may have been sliced during the melee, which quickly spiraled out of control. So some person said, ignorant fools acting stupid. The dust dust up lasted around an hour and spilled into the casino area on the same level of the ship. Scrum of the fighters eventually moved from the fifth floor to the first and the altercation wasn't physical the whole time. Ship security team tried to break up the fight and eventually had to call in the U.S. Coast Guard. So, <sighs> Marsha, love is blind and, uh, you know, sharing is caring and sometimes not everybody's worth sharing with. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I've been on a carnival cruise. Oh, my God. Um, I could see how things would have gotten out of hand. Mm-hmm. And you can't, like, go nowhere because you're all on the cruise. Okay. Um, just stop stop inviting people into your bedroom, people. Just stop it. Is Usher still there? <laughs> yeah, but that's different. <laughs> 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 There's a meeting in my bedroom. It's just like people are just... Why, we, we've been... So I used to live in Alaska. And they used to do wife swapping in Alaska. Because, you know, you're there, you're cold, you need some, you know, change. You need something scenery. warm in the cold weather. Yeah. So you're like, hey, <laughs> hey Ted, uh, where I'm is like, this going? <laughs> I can't wait. Give me a drink. And they they literally do that in Alaska. The wife swapping is like really things that happen. So, I mean, but you have an agreement, sign some papers, do a video. <laughs> Who said do a video, Will? Like, do the video of me. This is what we're going to do. We all agree to it. <laughs> Keep it up. But it's just wow, people get drunk and get a little frisky. You know, don't don't share your man or your woman if you can't handle it. Mm-hmm. You can't be adults about it. Don't do it. That, that's true. 100 percent on that. You know, you get those contracts written up just like David Chappelle did. Cortez, write all those contracts and make sure that you're covered. Yeah, I agree. I mean, if you can't, the, the problem is everybody see see stuff on social media and on TV, reality TV, and they think they think, oh, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to actually do that, mm-hmm. and it winds up backfiring. I mean, it backfires only. Yeah. Sometimes, it, sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on the individuals. Not when they out there riding and fighting, man. Because if, if you yeah. want to do all that cheating, then why why did you get married? Mm-hmm. <laughs> If you, you know, I mean, if you want to, if there's one thing about marriage, once you get into it, you into it. But if you're going to be cheating, it don't make no sense of, of, of staying in it if you're, what I say, not happy with what you have. Mm-hmm. Very See? true. Very true on that. GPS, your final uh, uh, opinion on this situation here. Uh, yeah, marriage is hard enough with two people in it. Um, you really don't want to go adding more people to the mix. Um, if you know that uh, multiple partners is not for you, and marriage is really not about multiple partners, it's supposed mm-hmm. to be about the one. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you know it's not going to be for you, don't do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very true. Now, you do that during the single life, where you can just, uh, you know, keep everybody in the schedule, just like the song says: Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, mm-hmm. Saturday. That's how you do it. That's the way to do it. You know, don't uh, cause any uh, calamities, Janes, that are going on. Um, when's the next time you go into Alaska, Marsha? Never 